Hey everybody, Ryan Medora here, and I've got another blues bass lesson for you. Uh, I'd say we've got a, a series going, it's, it's pretty fun, and today we're going to talk about I Got My Mojo Working, classic blues, chess records, Willie Dixon, Muddy Waters, good stuff, and uh, we're going to break down this bass line for you today. Um, so if you want, you can get tab, notation, backing tracks, all that good stuff uh, by going to my website, ryanmedora.com, and getting the 12 Bar Blues Survival Pack. It's all there, 12 classic blues feels with all the goodies to go along with it. Um, and now you have this video as well to help you learn how to play this. So let's dig into it. Um, so got my mojo work in, which I like to call the mojo blues, is a 12 bar blues. We're playing it in the key of E. And so let's go in and just find our one, fours and fives so that we can play our standard 12 bar. So um, I like to play this around here, this is my middle of the neck E here on the seventh fret of the A string. And we do have an open E at our disposal, but I'm gonna use this one because the pattern that we play requires us to play some lower notes. So I'm gonna go with the E here on my seventh fret. My one is the E, my fours as I go through my one, four, five chord progression is gonna be A. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four up the E major scale and I'm gonna land on an A. So A is our four chord can play it down here but for the pattern I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to this higher A here also on the seventh fret of the D string and then our five one two three four five I'm gonna go to B right here we have a lower one here as well but again for the pattern I'm gonna use this one primarily so as we go through our 12 bar form our one four and five our E A and B and um, what we're going to do is go over this pattern. And this pattern is interesting because we play the root note, but we play lower notes before we land there. So we're going to play the lower fifth and the lower flat seventh, and then we're going to land on the root. So our pattern is going to look like this. We're going to go root, fifth, seventh, root, fifth, seventh, root, fifth, seventh, root. Um, and if you want, you can add a dead note. So I'm playing that dead note right before I play the fifth. So I'm going root, the dead note into the fifth, the seventh, and the root. And that's cool. That adds a little bit of a percussive edge to it. Um, and so there's your pattern. I would first get comfortable playing this over and over again on E because you know what? We're there for four bars at the top of the chord progression. And for every bar, we're going to play this pattern twice. So if you think one two, three, four. There's gonna be two times through the pattern per bar. So when we start this pattern, we're gonna play it for a total of eight times as we're on our one chord. So I'm just gonna play through it and then lead us up to our four chord. And then we play the pattern into our four chord. So remember, we're going to A. We're going to take that same pattern of the fifth, the seventh, and the root note. And the cool thing is that um, the one chord is E, but the fifth of our A chord is also E. So when we move and we make that transition to A, here's we're on our E chord. And then we start with the E, and that's now our fifth of the a chord so you can see how that pattern just like leads itself into playing over to the A chord and we're gonna play that pattern four times and then we're gonna bring it back to our E chord so so far in our 12 bar we've played four bars on E two bars on A two bars on E we're gonna go up to our five chord B we're gonna move that pattern so here's our B, there's the lower fifth, the lower flat seventh, and then the B again. And we're gonna play that twice because we're only on that bar, we're only on that chord for one bar. And then I'm gonna go down to my A chord. And then I'm gonna play the cool, awesome end of a blues lick. And we're gonna go over that. So well, all we have to know is that this pattern is not very hard to play, but it can be tricky when you're making those transitions from one chord to the next, and you can adapt the pattern a little bit. So 
For instance, as I'm moving from my five chord, you know, I might change the order of the notes around a little bit so that I can land on the A chord and it feels good to do that way. And when I'm at that A chord, I might do the same thing and then I'll land back on E. Now, when we get to this E chord, we have a quintessential blues, 12 bar blues ending. This is just what happens. It's awesome. Root, flat seventh, sixth, flat six, five, and then we're in shift positions and walk up four sharp, four, five. Now this is a classic blues ending. It happens in so many songs. So if you get this down, you'll be good to go. Um, but the whole thing to remember is that you're, we're playing the root note, we're playing the flat seventh, and then we're descending chromatically down to the fifth. And we can play four sharp, four, five, playing that B here, or we can switch positions and go four sharp, four, five, or A, A sharp, B to play it there. So if we played this whole thing, it'll sound like that. And you'll hear I'm also giving two attacks as I descend and then quickly ascend with one attack each as I do the walk up to the five. So the walk from the one down to the five and then the four little guy up to the five. And there it is. That is how you play. Got my mojo working. There's other stuff you can do to this. There are different grooves. It can be adapted, but uh, this will help you get through it if you're going to a blues jam. And if you need more help, just head over to rhymeador.com. Check out the 12 Bar Blues Survival Pack for tab, notation, backing tracks, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. So hope you have a great day, everybody. Happy practicing. Keep it groovy.